Iran, Khamenei blames U.S., Israel for protests that erupted after Masa Amini's death. Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei blamed the United States and Israel for nationwide protests that erupted after custodial death of 22 year old Masa Amini. This is Khamenei's first public statement on the issue the protests over which have rocked the Islamic Republic for nearly a month now. I say clearly that these riots and the insecurity were engineered by America and the occupying, false Zionist regime, as well as their paid agents, with the help of some traitorous Iranians abroad, said Hamenei. Masa Amini was taken into custody by Iran's notorious morality police over improper attire. Amini was pronounced dead on September 16. Amini's death resulted in biggest wave of protests in Iran in three years. In his comments, Khamenei said that police must stand up to criminals and added that whoever attacks the police leaves the people defenseless against criminals, thugs, thieves. The death of the young woman broke our hearts, said Khamenei. But what is not normal is that some people, without proof or an investigation, have made the streets dangerous, burned the Quran, removed hijabs from veiled women and set fire to mosques and cars. The Iranian regime has regularly described protesters as rioters and has sought to paint the protests as something that detrimental to Iranian society. Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi's recent address to the nation was no exception. Concern grew about a crackdown overnight on students at Tehran's prestigious Sharif University of Technology where, local media reported, Riot police carrying steel pellet guns used tear gas and paintball guns against hundreds of students. Woman, life, liberty the students shouted, as well as students prefer death to humiliation, Mare News Agency reported. Iran Science Minister, Mohammad Ali Zalfigal, came to speak to the students in a bid to calm the situation, the report said.